Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped. So today, I am very excited to say I'm gonna be driving this stunning Jaguar F-Type. Um, this is a 380 brake horsepower S Coupe, um, and it's an absolutely beautiful car. I've literally driven it from the dealership back to the barn, um, and already it's really cool. I'm still so excited. Um, I have to thank very much um, Andy at Harwoods of Chichester uh, for letting me have this car for the afternoon. It's very much appreciated. Um, I did a review of the Jaguar XE a couple of months ago, and ever since then I've been talking about you know being able to get access to an F-Type. And we've been waiting for the new demonstrator to arrive, and it's arrived, and he got in touch a couple of weeks ago and said, why don't you come and drive it? And I went, uh, okay then. So here we go, let's have a look to see how good it is, shall we? So I think this is probably the most beautiful car to grace my driveway so far. It's absolutely stunning. Um, silver body colour with lots of black, so it's got lovely black wheels. I've uh, got some fantastic options on this car we'll have a look at. It's got the, the black roof, um, it's got a, um, a, a, the side skirts down here are an option and that also reflects around the rear balance and the front balance uh, to give it a more aggressive feel. Um, absolutely beautiful. Uh, could this be rear of the year? Um, I know I've had some good rear ends of cars recently, but none of them for me beat the F-Type. Um, this particular coupe version is a V6, so it's just got the twin exit exhaust in the middle. Um, the way to tell the V8 is that that would have quad exhausts to either side, um, but very, very beautiful. So this car has keyless entry, so I literally just need to go up, push that, and that opens up there. And we open up into what I can only describe as an absolutely stunning cabin. Let's start with these seats, shall we? So these are uh, an upgraded sports seat. They are something like a 3,000 pound optional extra in this beautiful red leather. And I just think that makes the cabin look absolutely epic. So let's start this baby then. So we just push the magic button down here. And the vents in the dashboard will rise. Just such great theatre. We've got the standard um, sat-nav interface and, and touchscreen in this car, although it does have quite a nice feature um, over here called iDynamic. So if we go into iDynamic, we can basically set up the car how we want in terms of engine steering and so on. We've got some nice options down the left-hand side here. We've got a stopwatch for when we're on track. Um, obviously we need the G meter so we'll be looking at that later on and then the last one is just shows us when we're on the brake or when we're on the accelerator I like that it's a very cool touch indeed unlike the other Jaguars I've driven recently with the rotational gear selector the F-Type's got a if you like a more traditional gear stick and um, with your various gear controls on there you can uh, drop it down into dynamic mode like before we've got a very important button here which is the noisy exhaust button not sure why you wouldn't just have that on all the time um, and then the other kind of controls you'd expect you know, turning traction control off which we won't be doing today so here's where the magic happens so the car i've got today is the v6 s coupe so this engine three liter v6 supercharged engine 380 brake horsepower about 330 pounds feet of torque uh, and with a car that weighs around about 1600 kilos, we're looking at 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds, which is pretty quick, really. Not that you buy one of these with boot space in mind, but it is important to be able to think, you know, can I go away for a nice weekend somewhere? So I'm actually pleasantly surprised to say that this boot's pretty sizable, really. I guess with it being the coupe, the, the sort of um, back end of the car lends itself to having a nice size boot, but you could certainly pack a nice. A uh, weekend away, probably a, a week away if you were careful, um, and then drive off somewhere nicely. Love little touches like this, lovely sort of leather clothing strap. So, not a bad size boot. Welcome to 
my first drive of an F-Type and um, I've driven from the dealership home and then literally just out, not very far from home. And this car, <laughs> it's just epic. I, you don't have to even breathe on the throttle. And it just sounds amazing. Um, yeah, I, I'm struggling for words really because this is, this is probably one of the most special cars I've actually got to drive um, on the public road. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm in love already. Um, and I've literally only just started. I mean, just the basic automatic, normal comfort mode settings, nothing special. I've obviously got the noisy exhaust button on because why wouldn't you? Um, it's a beautiful sunny day. I've got the car for an afternoon. Um, this is a good day. So, normal comfort mode's quite nice. Let's just step up through the different um, through the different modes. I'm just going to put it into sport mode, which should just sharpen the throttle response a little bit, get me in a slightly lower gear, uh, make it just that... <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> this car just sounds epic. And it, it's got that lovely crackly overrun on the... when you lift off. <laughs> oh, it just asks you to... Oh, what a... Oh. Doing these um, car reviews is quite difficult because you have to think about things to say. And every now and again, you'll drive a car that's just so breathtakingly beautiful, you kind of just don't have anything to say that's worth saying. And that was the... Yeah, this is now. So we've done sport mode box, so that just sharpens up the gear changes, puts you in a slightly higher gear, gives you a slightly more aggressive throttle mapping. The next thing to do is to reach down onto my little selector down here and select dynamic mode. Uh, straight away it's kicked down. I now have access to all 380 horsepower and... Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh yeah, but... Oh! <laughs> wow. Oh. This thing just... Oh, it just makes your blood pump. Every every sinew in my body's on edge. It's just absolutely incredible. The noise, the oh yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure what to say here really because it's just an absolutely. Here we go. Yeah, I, li I like the F-Type Coupe a lot. Um, yeah, very, very much. Okay, so here's a thought. So last weekend, I drove the Audi TT S Coupe, and I think that car that I was driving was in the region of about 45,000 pounds. This weekend, I'm in this absolutely stunning F-Type, and I think this is in the region of about 70,000 pounds, so obviously it's a more money a very kind of similar style car um, and it, it's quite interesting you know straight away I have to say I feel like I'm in a more expensive car the TT sounded great but this thing from a sound point of view is on another level I mean just <laughs> how can you not love that I mean if, if, if you own this car you would be doing that all the time it's just intoxicating, the noise, the overrun with the crackles and barbels and then when you want to just go past someone you just drop the throttle and the noise, oh, yeah, the TTS sounded good, this sounds way better, yeah, 1-0 to the Jaguar F-Type. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to drop it into sport mode and I'm going to grab a paddle and I'm now going to go into manual mode um, and just have a sort of play, see what the gear changes are like downwards, upwards. Um, and the turning so sharp. And then, and you've got that overrun and the popple and crackle. So let's just see what the acceleration's like then as we go up this road here, I think. Uh, pretty quick then, yeah. Uh, that'll be a fast car. 
<laughs> just you can kind of make it do those overrun noises. The great thing about this car, it's it's massively fast. Um, and don't get me wrong, you, you'd need to be a reasonably um, accomplished driver, but it's not intimidating at all. Um, you can just drop it down, put it into sport mode, drop it down and bury it. And it, it's just so easy. That's what I like about this car. It's just so easy um, to, to, to exploit the performance. Goodness knows what it's like on track. But um, yeah, it's... Um, The only problem is, if you had a car like this, you'd probably lose your license within about three days. But apart from that, amazing. So what are my final thoughts on this car? Well, it's completely blown me away. Um, I think it's, as I said earlier on, it's probably the most premium car I've driven in terms of performance and just styling. And it's a real aspirational car. I remember when they first came out, the F-Type, I remember thinking, oh my goodness me really want to drive one of those so just to get behind the wheels been very very special but the nice thing is it's it's like when you know all your childhood heroes and you want to meet them and then when you do they're really not all that interesting or not very nice people well, I'm really really chuffed that I've got behind the wheel of this car and it's everything I thought it was going to be um, it's just feels so special um, it, it's a uh, the performance is just properly ace and, and I cannot wait to get behind the wheel of the V8 version of this. Um, the guys have got one coming in, a, a, a special vehicle operations version coming in uh, very soon and I've been told I'm going to be allowed to have a drive of that with a bit of luck. And I just can't wait for that because I can't imagine all that extra bit of, you know, put another couple of hundred horsepower in this car and that must be incredible. Um, but yeah, I'm so chuffed because it's just not let me down at all. The noise this thing makes. Um, if I bought one though, I would have a convertible. I love my soft tops anyway, but I definitely have the convertible rather than the hard top. And I know this is something like 80% more uh, torsionally stiff than the convertible. I know all of that, but you know, I just can imagine, in fact, I'm just gonna wind the window down now and The soft top that would be absolutely epic but yeah it's been a good day in the office and I've still got the car for another couple of hours so I plan to just go on a really nice long drive now and enjoy every single minute of my Sunday with my F-Type coupe. Well sadly my time with the F-Type has come to an end and I need to take it back to the dealership I'm afraid um, but I have to say it could quite happily stay I absolutely love this car. Yeah, firstly, I think I think it's one of the most beautiful cars on the road, full stop. Um, the performance is just epic. Uh, the noise it makes is amazing. The feel you get when you're driving, it's incredible. So yeah, a big, big thumbs up. I am properly, properly in love. One of these days I'm gonna do a review on Petroped of a car I don't like very much, but it certainly wasn't today. Um, so I need to thank uh, Harwoods of Chichester very, very much for letting me have this car for the afternoon. Um, it's very much appreciated, uh, your support and letting me have uh, access to cars. So thank you and thank you Andy in particular. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you have. Comments below are always welcome and please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to Petroped uh, for uh, all my upcoming videos. So anyway, it's come for me to say goodbye and sign off. So you take care guys, drive safe.